You heard it here first. If you eat your fruit, you eat your veggies, you might become a really strong chess player. I'm waking up at 5 a.m. every day. You get used to it. Yeah, no, of course, obviously. You know, John Slaughter for the 19 months. Now, 96 is a good move. I mean, I can obviously castle H. I think I'm going to play... Hmm. I'm going to play Bishop E3. It's kind of a strange move. Probably not very good, but it kind of confuses the matter a little bit here. It muddies the waters. Actually, D5 is maybe better. Go H3. We'll take with a queen. I'm going to take. He's going to take with a knight, I guess. I mean... Okay, so I'll take. I mean, I can castle. I can also play Rook D1. I also have Bishop C5. I just realized to hit the Rook. Thank you to Jacob MW for the Prime. Thanks so much, Jacob MW. Appreciate it. Thank you. So he's supposed to take with a knight, as I recall. Okay, it takes with a pawn, though. This is not completely correct, I don't believe. Let's go here on Queen E3. Go here, I can just take with a pawn. I guess I take towards the center, not away. I think there's only one title Tuesday. I think the double title Tuesday is starting. Um, I don't know when it's actually starting. I have Rook A7 here. It's a free pawn. It's a free pawn. Is it an actual free pawn or not is the question. I think it is, though. Maybe I'm going to Bobby Fisher myself, but I think it's a free pawn. Looks like a free pawn to me, at least as far as I understand chess. Which is not very good, but hey, it's something. Okay, Queen d4 is a good move, too. Um, but I thought I could... Wait, so if I take knight e4, bishop e3... I think that's just... Wait, wait, let me think. Again, there's increments, so I can actually think for a second. Yeah, I think this is just good. Because knight e4, I go bishop e3 to hit the queen, and he goes back, he loses the knight. So it should be pretty good. Two free pawns. Thank you to Trondor for the nine. If he doesn't take on e4 and I get castled, I just win due to the extra material here. Yeah, I think there's just lost for black, pretty much. Because knight e4, bishop e3 is good, and if he doesn't have knight e4, I'm just castling, or even going bishop e3 next to him, it's just resigned. Okay, so we're going to win the first game, so we'll be on one out of one. So pretty good start. Thank you to Winger, 001 for the Prime. Thank you so much to Winger. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, Bach was on today. Yes, he was. He was. Um. Okay. Marcelo Vilaba, international master from Paraguay, was born in 1994. He's a standard rating of 2258, rapid rating of 2250, and a blitz rate of 2169. Yeah. How's he 2258? I am. Either he's old. Uh, actually, sorry. I see his pic. He's not old. Sorry. I can see his picture. That he looks pretty young. So he's he's not um he's not old. So I'm guessing what that means is that he probably wait. Paraguay. Wait. Isn't this the Bosnia flag? Or oh, whoops. Oh, that's Paraguay. Okay. Whoops. Whoops, okay. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's go here. Target the queen. And now, I mean, I just castle this game over. Um, I just castle my king. And now I'm just up two pawns. Very, very clean position. Yeah, <laughs> Papega. Yeah, not very good. Who had the best games for Pata? I thought the game between Jordan and uh, Magnus was the best game. I'm just going to go here, Rook D1. Trade off materials. Again, I have two extra pawns here, so this should be pretty clean. I mean, this should just be winning. I just trade the rooks. I mean, this this has to be winning. So I've, okay, it goes H6. Let's go here. I mean, anything wins here, so it's kind of hard to... It's just fielder's choice, pretty much. I guess I'll go here. Hit both pawns. You know, I can take F7. Hmm, I actually let him get Queen A1, which is kind of unnecessary. Kind of, like, really unnecessary. Why did I do this exactly? Right, let's just go here and stop Queen A1. I'll go F3, consolidate the chain. Let's just go here. I mean, everything wins, of course, but go here. Back. I guess I'll just go Queen D1. Go here, maybe. Of course, I can make a check. 
Um, I can also just go h4. I think I'm going to go here on b4, probably. Now bishop c5 should be winning. I just take with a knight. B4, okay, let's go here. Get in. Oh, whoops. Oh, my gosh. I almost... Jeez, I just almost just blundered this game away. That was ridiculous. Okay. Um. Yikes, that was very, very bad by me. I still should win this, but that was really poor. Here. Check. That was very, very bad. Okay, now I can just open up the king side. Very, very poor. Very, very poor by me. I'm, I'm going to get the win, but oh, that was so bad. Let's go check. Second mate. There we go. Thank you to Flash Dank for the six months. Thank you to Willem Chess for 300 bits. Thank you to El Miracle for the tier one. Thank you so much to El Miracle. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so we get the win. First one in the books, um, and we have, have a few more to go. All right, pretty good stuff so far. Can't complain as we move on to um, move on to the uh, to the next next um, next round. One out of one, pretty good. Thank you to the RC for the six months. Thank you so much to the RC. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much, RC. Still wins very poor. I mean, it was good enough. It wasn't great, but it, it was it was decent. Um, so yeah, keep rolling. Yeah, we keep rolling along. I don't know if Prague won. You guys can tell me when he actually does win, but um, but yeah. See who's playing there should be a draw i think white just waits king f5 oh there's almost a uh no mate i guess king f4 king f3 and then h4 h5 and this, this should be a draw maybe white can even win this but i think it's a draw what did chat do to tr trigger me they did nothing to tr trigger me today Okay, h5, of course. h5, of course. h5. Like, at some point, you got to go h5, dude. Like, h5 again? I mean, still. And now it's rook f3? No, this is actually... I think black's going to win this game somehow. Rook f6? Okay. Rook e6, of course. g6, g7. D1. I think black's gonna win this game. King D3 and Bishop D4, maybe. King C1. Gotta go. Goes to E1. I think black's gonna win this game somehow, even though he shunt. Yeah, he's gonna win this game, I think. King D1, rookie two. Gotta move. So bad by white. So okay, rook c6 only move. I mean, maybe this is just a draw, but it feels like I think it's just a draw. Rookie, rookie six. Check king e1. There's always a there's always a way out. King e1. Go, you gotta go. King F2. Move, move, rookie six, move. Back, move. So bad. So bad by white. So so bad. They have map over the nine. They have refugee for the 30. So bad. That's just so bad. So so bad. That was the last game of the round, too. So that was just terrible. So bad. I think you had a Twitch guy for the seven months. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, wh white is 70. Oh, white was 70 years old. I mean, he could have forced a draw much earlier, though. That's why. I, why didn't he force a draw earlier? I'm already on first place. That's because I have the highest rating. That doesn't mean I'm actually in first place. Oh, it's 43. Okay. Okay. Um, I am just going to play a uh, standard stuff here. A6, B5. Go here. Bishop B7. 
Maybe it was rookie one. So I'm gonna play knight d7 and e6. I guess e6 knight e7 makes sense. I mean, I always have b4 at some point as well, depending. So let's just go here and knight. I mean, I don't like e6, but it's something at least. He's also being a little bit too passive with bishop f1. That's not really the right approach. Because now b4 is always a big problem. Like a4, b4 could be an issue. So he plays a3 again. Very passive move. I don't really like the way White is playing this game. He's being way too, way too timid. So I'm going to go g5, f5, probably. Oh, this is actually good, but it looks quite attractive. I'm going to go f5, of course, try to open up the position. Hmm. I thought I could take and go bishop h6. I think I'm just winning here. Oh, he's got rookie. No, rookie three. Okay, but that can't be good. Okay. First of all, I have f4. Yeah, I think I just closed the... Uh, I just tried to close the dam here on the king side. I mean, maybe knight g6 was a little bit better. Probably it was, but whatever. I mean, this great thing called fruit, you guys. If you haven't tried it, you should try it out sometime. Let's play e5, close the center of the board here. Not knight g6, by the way, because of queen h5. I think I'm just, I think I'm just much better here. Queen h5, I go queen eight, queen g6. Fruit, I've never heard of it. Yeah, fruit, you guys. You gotta eat your veggies and your fruit. If you don't eat your veggies and your fruit, um, you're not gonna grow to be a, be a top level world chess chess player. You heard it here first. If you eat your fruit, you eat your veggies, you might become a really strong chess player. Okay, now queen g4 is not a good move, but I have to, I mean, I kind of have to prove this. It's a little bit weird. I think I'm just gonna go here. <clears throat> I have to be careful, because if he gets queen e6, queen h6, there's some kind of weird draw in there. I think Kale for the night, for the 20 months. Thank you so much, Kale, I appreciate it, thank you. Can I become a GM simply by eating fruit? Um, <laughs> Now, of course, I can take. Um, I can also play F3 and then takes. I think I figure this out if takes is good or if I should do the other order. I think this is the right order with 95, 92, 6. So this can't possibly be good. First, I have 95. Second, I can trade and... Actually, do I trade and go 90? I think I... Yeah, I think I just trade and go 95. He has to take. I go here. If he takes, I just take queen e6, queen d6 is always closing the dam. If he goes here right away, then I take g5 and I'm just winning. So this, this is all very, very pleasant. It's all very hunky dory for me so far. And if he goes to the h file, I just have rook h8. So yeah, so he takes bishop d3, but that doesn't do anything because now I just take and I threaten checkmate and one on g2. But he doesn't have time for like queen h5 or h4, or any, any weird business here. Now, rookie one, I expected. Um, I think f3 wins. I'm just gonna take with the queen and end the game here. Okay, it goes rookie four. Thank you, Vertus Schlegger, for the five months. Um, now again, everything should win here, but I, I do I do want to not mess this up, so I want to be a little bit careful. F2 and queen a2, actually, maybe it's just easy. Yeah, actually, queen a2 and queen a1 is very clean. Yeah, just here, because queen a1, and I make a new queen. Oh, I played David Howell, yeah, I played him, I've played him before, yeah. If queen d7, I just block with the rook. So it's just it's just a clean, clean discovery into promotion for a new queen. Yeah, I just take. Yeah, I guess he doesn't want to resign for some reason. Let's just go here. Kind of a, a little bit out of control. He's kind of missing a lot of pieces here. Hey, this is spade for the two thing. Nose rack for the prime. Thank you so much, nose rack. Appreciate it. Thank you. He resigns. Two out of two. Pretty good start. So far, so good. Oh, let's see who's playing. 
Okay, we have a draw here. What are, what, are, what am I looking for? Um, okay, let's see. Let's go back. Let's see who's who's playing. Okay, let's see Jeffrey's playing. Pull up Jeffrey's game. Jeffrey is in trouble here, by the way. Looks like he's losing to me. B4. No, I think White's winning now. Or no, Rook C1? Rook C1 maybe is winning. You gotta go Rook C1 here. Now, D6. I'm gonna check King D1. This has to be winning for White, but it's still kind of tricky here. Maybe King C3. Actually, King C3 maybe is just an easy win, too. I think King C3 is easiest for white. He misplayed this. Now black is King F3. Yeah, now King F3 and black's completely fine. Where is he? Here, here. Yeah, but, yeah black's going to win. Another questionable game, but... I should berserk to get extra points. That would be nice. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I thought H6 was strong there. A little confused by this. H6. Now you take H5 though. Yeah. Now you take H, um, H6. H6. Okay. Here, 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 here. You win by one tempo. You win by one tempo. I guess, actually, this is also an easy way. Just G4, G3, G2. But do a chess collab with Hassan in the future. Um, I don't know. I might do a political collab down the road, possibly. I doubt I'll do a chess collab. But yeah, anyway. All right. Thank you to Sayos for the six months. Thank you so much to Sayos. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, White was winning there. White, White was definitely winning, but he misplayed it. He misplayed it. Please, no. Why not? Do I vote Green Party? No, I, I don't vote Green. Um, <laughs> good one. Um, that's a good one. See you, Bob the Knob, for the ten months. Thank you so much, to Bob the Knob. So yeah, anyway, next round coming up shortly. We should be beginning in, in, in at any moment. I won't vote in midterms. Oh, I will definitely vote in midterms. I mean, I'm still I'm still registered in Florida and I'm, I mean, I might be going back there at some point. So um, I will definitely vote in the midterms, obviously. Yeah, um, Daddy DeSantis. A Republican or Democrats, um, I'm pretty middle of the road on a lot of things, if I'm being honest. Pretty middle of the road. I don't like a lot of what's going on. Somehow Black lost on time here, by the way. I don't know how. Um, yeah. Please kill politics. Nothing but interest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, there's like... Uh, would I vote for a Pharaoh if I had an option? I mean, there some of those early Pharaohs were really good, honestly. Um... I mean, I don't think King Tut was the best of them, but he he was okay. He was okay. Maybe a snow skier. Appreciate it. Um, okay, so we, we have our next game coming up. I mean, times of like during the times of Cleopatra was quite interesting, obviously. With the triumvirate and all that other jazz. Um let's go knight of three here. Playing Bo Bojan. Prague is winning. Prague's been winning for the last uh, hour and a half, I feel like. Um, but yeah. All right, play knight of three. Okay, knight of six. I guess I'll play b3 here. Probably bishop b2 next move. Um, now, this is a Bosnian flag. <laughs> True, good point, good point. Yeah. 
King Dell was un unimportant, unimpressive. Yeah, he didn't he didn't really do much. Um, Cleo Patch was probably the most remembered one, though, I think. I, I suspect. I mean, like, wasn't Ra it was Ramsey's, right? I feel like he was one of the other ones who was really influential back in the day. Only like 3,000 years ago. Okay, I'm going to take the pawn. I guess I'll go C4 and, and oh, I think I've played this. I've actually played this dude before. I've actually played him. Okay, he goes there. Hmm. I seem annoyed that I played it before. No, I'm annoyed that he's playing this line. That's actually why I'm annoyed. Because I should have remembered that he plays a silly line. I mean, maybe I just go C5 right away and Bishop C4 immediately. I didn't think this was right, but... It's actually a little bit iffy. Oh, now I just made a mistake, too. Just great. What am I doing? I mean, it's Queen E7 or something. I mean, you can obviously take two. This could be a little bit scary. Like, maybe more than a little scary. This could be very scary, potentially. But we'll see. I probably will find a way out. I mean, I feel like this must be the right move. And if he takes... I assume there's a lot of pressure. And if he goes queen g5, I assume I have g3. Wait, did I just blunder? Wait, I have to be careful that there isn't a lolly here. There's knight e Oh, wait, wait. First of all, I trade. Okay, now I go here. I should be okay because I have knight f4, but I did not play this very well. not play this correctly hmm. I have to be very careful how I play this and play rook d2 maybe I feel extremely careful d1 Play this. I mean, I don't know if this is actually okay. I mean, he has g5 too. Like, this feels very scary. Maybe I should have just gone h4 in one go. Just giving him g4. That probably would have been smarter. I'm actually really trying. I'm trying hard to lose this game, basically. Yeah, I don't know why I even did this. I just basically threw the game away. I think. Maybe I didn't. Actually, wait. I can go here. I have queen f1. I don't, really don't know what I'm doing. I'm threatening to actually, I guess, take and take on f3, which is kind of a problem. Stop thinking like a human and stop freaking out. That's also a good point, yeah. John Fewer for the 9th of JT3S. Of course he finds this too, obviously. I knew he would find this move. Oh, God. That's ridiculous. I'm actually just going to lose this game, probably. I don't even know why I didn't go to C1. That was a much better score. It goes G4, though. Oh, and now, of course, I didn't put the rook on the right square, so it's just a... Wait. Wait. I, I should have put the rook on C1. Wait, I have H4, too. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is actually getting weird. Wait, I have h4. g4 was a mistake, I think. Yeah, g4 was a big mistake by him. Why did he play g4? A huge mistake. Now, now I'm back in the game. I'm still worse somehow, but I'm not lost, I don't think. I, I'm sure I'm worse still, but it's, eh, it's their chances. And he's got no time either. I should have put the rook on c1, though. That was absurd. And now I have to go here. Now I have to trade. 
Okay, now, I mean, again, I don't know why my work's not on C1. That was so dumb of me. Okay, let's think. Go here. I'm going to go work C2 and work B3. Guess now I can go here and work D1. I'm actually unwinding this. Go here and trade and trade it all off. I guess I can play knight c4. Or, I mean, I feel like I'm better here. Oh, man. I feel like I'm better. If I trade and go knight a5, I think I'm actually winning. Yeah, I have knight a5 here. I also have knight d2. Wait a second. Don't don't flub this up like a, like a moron. Knight a5, b6, knight 6, rook c8. Of course, I shouldn't have done that either, but whatever. That should be a mistake. Knight c6, bishop c7, but I still don't have a way to win, so I guess I'll go here. Oh, I've got knight b7, yes. Now I can actually just take... Yeah, this is just winning. And now he loses. I have c7. GG's. Uh, I just go, I, just go to, I guess I just check and trade. Yes, we get the win. Three up, three down. Terrible game, but we got the win. Absolutely abysmal. Abysmal game. Let's watch Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey is still playing. This should be a draw. Rookie five. Yeah, Jeffrey's not going to win. He's going to draw this probably at best. Yeah, not good, but I got the win. Yeah, I got, I got very lucky. When I say mistake, we hardly understand anything. Yeah, I mean, no, I understand. But I was completely lost. Anybody who had a bar on during that game would have seen that I was completely dead. Um, but sometimes you got lucky. Sometimes you got lucky. Sometimes you're the fly. Sometimes you're the windshield. It was minus four, four at some point. Yeah. No, it was not good. You're so trash. Yeah, exactly. Um, agreed. King C1, Bishop D2. Kosak, is this a guy from, uh, I believe this guy played in, uh, the Polish, the Polish event we did some time back. This is Kozak. Um, okay, so yeah, Jeffrey, Jeffrey has trade. Okay, it's a draw. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so Jeffrey draws the game early. So we're still, we're still on three out of three, which is good. Um, keep going. What are my thoughts about draft? Uh, tough, tough game. Tough game to hack. I'm extremely lucky you should try this chess thing. Yeah, of course. Obviously, that's my plan. Okay, three out of three. We keep going. Uh, I, I guess Prague still didn't win. I mean, I don't have that open, but I'm guessing he, he didn't win yet. Why isn't chess post the live TT leaderboard? That I don't know. Um, uh, did I sell my BTC? No, thank you to Mukaru Rama for the prime. I mean, I'm actually getting kind of tempted. I have to see what it's at. 41.5. I mean, it's. It, I think I said this before, you guys. But if it goes to 40, I'm selling. If it, if it goes, if it go, if it, probably 40 is where I'm selling. I probably am willing to ride it up to about 60 on the upside potentially. So I'm just when it, when it does one of those things. For 40 to 41 and a half, yeah, of course. Uh, double down on Bitcoin, no, because it's a it's a free Bitcoin. So no, no, no chance. Anyway, yeah. um but yeah all right buy high sell low yeah <laughs> i know i'm still holding i didn't i didn't sell it yet but i'm just saying that if it goes to 40 i'm gonna sell it. and if it goes to um if it goes to uh like 60 i'll sell it there 50 60 depending on the price action if it runs straight up i, I almost certainly will sell but if it, if it just like hovers around for the next like week or two and then it goes up i'll probably i'll probably hold it upwards how does it work i think basically it works is that whenever i sell whenever i sell basically is how it works But I mean, at the end of the day, it is real money. It's not like, I mean, yes, you can say free, but like, I still don't want, I still don't want to want it to go to zero. Market is waiting for your signal. Yeah. 
Oh, it's my move? Uh, okay, let's play E4. Wait, okay, let's play E4 here. This is round number four, right? Yeah. This is actually a strong event. Round I'm playing Bordnik in round four. That's kind of shocking. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll play the same old line, this, this old stuff. Um, he plays... Oh, okay, so he's going to play this... Um, I mean, he's going to play this... He keeps playing this uh, very surprising Philidor again. So I'm kind of surprised that Bortnik's doing this. I mean, C6A4, I mean, this is all very, very standard. It's been played a gazillion times. Oh, it's rating... Tan Actually, yeah, 2850 is very low for Bortnik. He should be higher than that, right? Yeah, Bortnik should be like... This is not the... No, this is the regular Bortnik. There are two, but this is the regular one. Yeah. Let's go A4, of course. Yeah, Bornix probably I mean neither of us are really happy because I thought it'd be I thought it'd be a few more rounds. But Bornix rating has tanked so much that that's why I'm playing him. Yeah, there are two Bort no, there's Oleksandr and there's the other one who actually I think is a lot weaker. Uh he's not as strong. Oleksandr is a much stronger, stronger player. The other one is um oh, what's his name? I can't I can't remember his name right off. Uh, he's grinding his... Oh, he's playing the league, so he's losing rating. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. And now he goes B6. Now, I know D5 is not the right move, but I'm going to play it anyway. Um, you know, I can obviously trade. I mean, I can kind of play this like a... Um, you know, let's just take and go here. I'm going to play this a little bit like a uh, like a Nidorf, kind of. If that makes sense. A little bit like a Nidorf. It's like kind of like a Nidorf here. H6, Bishop, H4. And then I go like Rook D1 and B3. I, I assume that I understand the structure better than Bortnik, but maybe I do. Maybe I just don't. There is always that possibility. A knight d2 seems quite reasonable. I think it's just a good move, actually. Because, like, I mean, my idea is to play bishop h4, and then, like, okay, he does go knight c5. I am actually kind of surprised with that, because it's not supposed to be correct. Okay, wait a second. That's definitely not supposed to be the right way to play this, this black. I just go here and take I mean he also has queen d8 maybe which he plays okay, I think I'm just gonna go b3 consolidate somewhat and 96 is a good move that I of course overlooked naturally because that's what I do don't really want to take on f6 and e6. I mean, I can obviously do it, but that's not, it's really not very attractive. I do have bishop a6. I also have rook d1 here. Really don't like this, the way that I've played this position. Still is very dubious. I'll also go knight e3, maybe. Let's go knight e3, why not? Doesn't feel right. I mean, knight d4, I go queen d3. If knight f4, I assume I have queen f3 and rook d1. It's all a little bit sketchy. Yeah, it goes there. Of course, I go here. If knight d4, I have queen e3, and I can just take with the f pawn, so it's somewhat okay. Oh, they look annoyed that Niels isn't resigning his game. I mean, yeah, everybody kind of wants... I mean, that's the thing with Tata still when you cover it, is that it can obviously go for go forever. He does this. Wow, Interesting. Wait, I didn't think this was... Okay, wait. I think I'm still okay here, but I do think I've misplayed this. Somewhat significantly, potentially. If I take and play knight f3... Queen c7. Wait, I do have knight c4, maybe? Take knight c4? I mean, I guess I kind of have to... Go... I, get... I mean, wait. Let me think. I do have time here, so I don't want to just wander this. Knight c4, knight f4, knight d6. I don't, I don't buy it. I'm not, bu I'm not buying it. I'm gonna take and go here. If he has something, he has something. But I think I'm in just in time to win the pawns in the center of the board. I don't see it, so I'm gonna go for it. What surprises me most from Tata still? I think Magnus is um, sort of. His edge, he doesn't just seem to be as sharp as usual. It feels like he's just a little bit off. I think that's probably what I'm most surprised by. K4, 
Okay, it's deep in the tank, so he's thinking. I'm just trying to figure this out. Okay, he goes Queen G5. Now, the funny thing is I can actually take all the pawns and go Queen G4 at the end. But I don't really believe that's great. I thought Knight D6 and Queen C4 were just winning for me, but maybe I'm stupid. Whatever. Maybe I'm just stupid. I'll play it anyway. Queen C4 looks very strong, unless I'm just incredibly stupid here, which is always... Oh, E3. Wait, but I have King H1? Okay, let's... That was very stupid of me, of course. Like everything else I've done so far in this tournament. Go here. And he has Bishop A8. Then I go Rook D2 and Rook D1. I don't actually see the win. If he takes, I take and I come back. Oh, did I just blunder something? Ah, uh, he has some trick here to get a draw. Knight C4 me. Wait, Knight C4. That's a nice move. Rook F3 is a nice move by Bortnik. I, I missed that. A very nice move. And he's got some kind of cheesy draw. It's a nice move by him. Credit goes where credit is due. That's just a nice draw. I go Rook D3. D3, Rook H3. Six, and G3. I'm gonna try. It's probably wrong, but I'm gonna try. Oh, geez, I just won. Oh my gosh, I missed. Yeah, yeah, I... I have rook f1 at the end, luckily. Oof. Okay, let's go here. What's that? Should I go here? I think I win. He loses. <sighs> there we go. Yeah. There probably is some mate, but whatever. It got messy. We win the time scramble. It's all good. All right. Um, oh, we're playing Min Lei. This is actually not a nice pair. Yeah, this must be a very thin field if I'm playing Min Lei. I mean, I, I think I'm just going to play D5 because he always likes the London. I mean, we're going to play this again. It's probably going to be a draw, as always. Um, I mean, DC4 is fine. Bishop D6 is fine. This is all very flattening. I mean, Bishop G3, we trade a castle. Oh, he's going to do this one. Okay, interesting. King B3. Now, I think Knight C6 is a move, but I'm just going to play B6. I don't even know if this is right. Ah, oh, he wants to get creative. Okay, let's play C6. Here, Knight BD7. Okay, is it really gonna take? I don't think I'm concerned because I can take with the E pawn and play rookie D8. I can also go A6, B5. I can also take. I don't really want to trade on C4, but it, that imbalances it. And I do kind of need to win this game. But I still think I'm gonna go rook A C8. The H3. I mean, I don't really know if G4 is a threat, so I'm just gonna play. I can obviously take and play B5. It's kind of interesting, but I think I should just be positionally sound. Rather than go for broke so early. But now he's actually baiting me. So he's actually baiting me to take on C4. Uh, I can also play Knight E4 and draw, but I... Knight E4 is so flat, I don't want to do it. I'm just gonna go here. Very dry. I'm also way too low on the clock, I just realized. Wait. Okay, actually, I'm way too low. I, I got, I just got to move. I just realized, I just realized I'm suddenly way too slow. So here I have c5, I have a5, I have queen b6 even. I have knight d5 too to hit the queen. I think queen a7 is right to play c5. Don't love my position. Okay, I mean c5 is just begging to be played. I also have bishop e4. I'm so slow for whatever reason in this game. I'll go here. I 
have to speed up. I'm going way too slow. E4, I'm going to meet it with E5. Try to attack in the center immediately. It goes B3. That's an interesting choice. I mean, I can obviously go E5. If I wasn't so low on time, I wouldn't play E5 here. But my time situation is not not good. So I have to kind of... I kind of have to just force stuff off the board. If I, ha if I had more time, I would not do this. But I kind of... I'm in a little bit of a pickle time-wise. So I need to sort of flatten the board here a little bit. Probably going to be a draw, but. Although now my time situation is evened out, so I'm feeling a little bit stupid about all this. I also should have just traded on B3. I don't know why I didn't do that. So stupid. Yeah, Queen B4 could be a problem. Um, I do have E4 and C3. E4, Knight D2. E5, Queen A5. I mean, I feel like I have something here. It doesn't look right. Again, I'm, I'm thinking too long, though. Just take and play 95. Actually, that's that, of course, that's the right move. Why didn't I just do this right away? Okay, he takes with a rook. Wait, what, what did I see here? I thought I had something. I guess I have to go here. I can play a5. I can also go rookie 5, c5. I, I think I've misplayed this. I'm just so slow and I don't really know why. We'll go here in 95 maybe. It's actually kind of tricky for both sides still. I mean, I have 95, 93. I also don't have time as usual. Why am I so slow? Why sub only? Because we're playing in a competitive tournament. That's why. Twenty five, I think, is a mistake. But I gotta still move faster. Um, go here. I have, I have ninety six or something. I think queen a five was a mistake, actually. Unless he has some quick tactic, but I don't see it. Go here. Wait a second. I have h five. I should have attacked it. Wait, five rook two seven, king f eight, queen a three, king h eight, queen c three. I know there's a tactic here, but I. Ugh. I know there's some tactic, but I'm just too slow. I'm just too slow. I can't think. Gotta move, I gotta move. What are you doing? I gotta move. He 
blundered. I'm okay. I'm okay. I can't. I can't risk it. It's too dangerous. Ugh. Crazy, crazy. I think that's joke for the prime. I mean, I was so slow in that game. I think we both missed a win. I think I missed a win too. I mean, of course, I was completely lost somewhere, but. Oh, it's actually, I so I should have just moved. Okay, so this goes on. Ah, uh, 97 and 90 F8, and it's, uh, I mean, this and this. So hard to spot this with no time. So hard to spot this. But yeah, I mean, somewhere later, I think he had a win too. Oh yeah, Queen's, Queen C5 was actually the move I was going to play, and then I didn't play because I thought he had, I thought there was a mate in here. I would have done, I was actually, I think you guys saw, I was hovering over queen c5, and then I think I thought that there just must, must be a mate. Okay, so, oh, queen d6 is a nice one. Queen d6 is a really beautiful win. He takes. And this is still bad, I guess. Yeah, it's still quite bad. Ah, queen c5 is the move. Hmm. But even at the end, I, I did actually think he was winning here. Yeah, king h2, because if I go c3, there's bishop f1. Yeah, exactly, bishop f1. This is what I, I thought was actually winning for him during the game, um, was that he had this idea. But it's okay, a draw is fine. Like, I, I mean, considering my time usage, which was abysmal in that game, I can live with a draw. Thank you to Hazel for the prime. Thank you so much to Hazel. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. But very, 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 very dicey. Yeah, he just got too many pawns on the king side. What if I think less and just take all the juice? That wasn't that. It's that I think I, my flow was just wrong there. I want to do something messy and it just didn't work. Yeah, draw is always better than a loss, of course. Yeah. Frag one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, 750. Um. No, it's at the end of the tournament. No, it's, it's not over. Nowhere near over. Nowhere near over. Neil's going to come back. No, I won't get easy pairings probably. But yeah, already, this is going to be a tough title Tuesday because there are only six people on five. That's crazy how few people have perfect scores. That's actually really nuts. A loss is worse than a draw. No, tell that to Dubov. Life is good when you lose. Life is good when you take the loss with F3 rather than drawing. <laughs> you got a double black. Not so nice. Um, what do I want to play? Again, I don't even know what I'm thinking here. I shouldn't be. I'm going to go C5. I'm going to play something unusual. No, I was making a joke about... That was a joke about the Abrook thing. Um, why? Again, why am I thinking so long? Just move. The problem is this is very dry, too. This is very equal. I don't even know why I did this. <clears throat> Go here. This was an equal middle game. I don't even know why I did this. Well, I don't actually think that's correct. Feels a little bit wrong. I don't think G3 is a correct move. Now I can go here and here. Go here, trade off. Okay, at least I can't lose now. I don't know if I can claim any edge, but I really shouldn't be able to lose this. Too. I mean, I don't really want to trade, but I kind of have to to finish my development here. To take or not take? To be or not to be? It's going to be hard, very, very hard to win this. And, uh, I think I have to take. I don't want to do this, but... It's just so equal. To go here and hit the bishop. 
I don't even know why I played knight d5, honestly. Go here. I consolidate the chain. Again, gonna be impossible to win this. And now I just blundered, of course. I think. Or maybe, no, no, I didn't quite blunder. I thought I blundered, but I didn't. He spots it, so I guess I go... Yeah, I did actually blunder, didn't I? Hmm. Seven. Go for it. I have 93 check and rook d1. That's what I'm banking on. Make a check. I mean, he has rook d7 or something, which could be a problem, too. Get Lewis Workloom for the 17. Appreciate it. Thanks so much to work Lewis Workloom. I think I'm kind of okay here. Wait, but don't I have b6 here? Am I stupid? He blundered. I think he actually just blundered here. He goes here, I go here. He takes, I take the juicer. He checks, I go here. Knight guards the pawn, I take the knight. I should win now. I should win. Should just win. He can't go back because then I take with the fork. Yeah, I win. He just wondered. Very lucky. Considering this opening, I'm very lucky to win this game. That is game over. I'm on fire today. I don't know about that. I mean, I, but this is this is very lucky because I should have. I mean, there's like no chance I win this out of the opening. This guy's very strong. I don't know what his rating is, but he's quite strong. I hope he's like 2600 feet. A, actually, what's his name? Actually, you guys in chat can tell me because you can look it up easier than me. He must be. I, I'm. I assume he's 2600, right? He, he should be at least. I think I go here. The only pawn that matters is this A pawn, actually, kind of. Okay, so of course, of course I take. I mean, I assume I just go like here in knight c7. That's my idea. I mean, it's just a pawn a pawn for my kingdom, basically. Okay, I think I go here. Dude, what am I doing? Find a way to misplay this a little bit. What am I doing, actually? What on earth am I doing here? I mean, Rook C7 is winning, I guess, but uh, I'm actually kind of... Oh, I have check in here. Wait. Yes, I have here and here. Why did I not see that immediately? Oh, no, I go Knight A4. So if I go E4, he C6 takes King D5. Still Knight G5. A little bit unclear. Oh, he goes e6. That must be wrong. So I check. Now the a pawn has to run. I, I mean, it's just a pawn upon for my kingdom. I mean, go a3, a2. Just no way. His pawns are so. He needs. What's he need? He needs five moves, I guess. Oh, wait. I mean, a3, a2 is always a move, but I think I can just go here and a3 next move. Or a3, h5, a2. He's too slow. We got the win. Good win. Um, so we get the win. We move to five and a half out of six. That's a good win. Not a great opening. I'm a little bit lucky to win that, but that, that definitely offsets the previous game for sure. Definitely offsets it. Is it true that getting a GM norm ha has the same difficulty as a PhD? To some degree, yes. In reality, I mean, I'm a little bit... A little bit skeptical but yeah it's all it's all relative i'm studying for a phd i think gm is harder i mean maybe it is i don't really know i don't know i play grigori next no because there are a bunch of people on five who are still playing so that's actually not what's gonna happen someone's gonna get to six undoubtedly and then then we'll see and then it's then it's boogie time he's 25 67 yeah he's, he's a pretty strong player that's not surprising um but yeah no, it's all good. Do I on purpose play worse openings to not reveal crap? I played dubious openings because 
Uh, it's the only way to generate complicated positions. When I played my main openings that I played against 2700s, I would actually draw the majority of my games. So I actually have to have a whole separate set of openings to play against these players who are quote unquote weaker than the absolute top player. So it's actually very difficult because I have to have two sets. I can't just play one set of openings. So anyway, five out, five and a half out of six. Let's see who's still playing. Let's watch Dayak Bogdan. This looks like a draw. Rook and two versus Rook and Bishop should be a draw. Although black has no time. <laughs> Five seconds, you gotta go. You gotta go, you gotta go. Pre move rookie five. I would pre move rookie five here. Okay. Or rook g5. Rook e5 and pre move. He's gonna try to get in. He's gonna try to sneak around the back. But there's still king g7. I think he should draw this. If this gets to rook and bishop versus rook, he'll win. But he should draw this pretty safely. Gotta go. Thanks. Gotta go. Back. Check. Move your rook. Rook f5. Rook f5. Ah, rook f5. Ah, rook f5 and rook b5. Pre move it. Pre move it. King f8. Next move, of course. King f6. I think. I think white's gonna win. I mean, it's pretty dirty by, by, um, run the king, bring the king and push the pawn. Yeah, he's going to lose the pawn. He's going to lose the game. I mean, yeah, he's going to lose the game. Pretty dirty, pretty dirty, but as uh, it happens, it splits. Oh, maybe he's going to get a draw here. There's E2. E2. Got to go. I think King F4 is winning or something here. Yeah, Bishop Rook C3. I think Rook... There's, this is like the game before between... um, What's his name? Between... Uh, ugh. Like the game between... um uh, Between Amin. Amin's game was the same kind of thing. Rook and Bishop versus Rook. Same thing. Ouch. Okay, so that means there are uh how many people on six? I don't see. Let's see. Should be a few people up there. Thank you to Lord Bilbo Baggins for the six months. Thank you so much to Lord Bilbo. So there are three people on six, so I probably float up to play somebody on six here. Um and go from there. 32, 22 pog. 33, 33 would be even more pog. But yeah. Oh, it's my move. Oh my gosh. What? What's the? Okay, go fast. Gotta move fast. Again, I lost all that time, so I kind of have to just move fast. Just take. I think I'm okay here, though. I have bishop c4, maybe. I also have a3. I mean, a3 and bishop c4 looks fine. I have rook c1 also. I have queen c2. I think I'm okay. I'm also, I've evened up the time, so it's good. Let's go here. So it's the Kobian from Armenia. Okay. Oh, why did I give him 20 second odds? Because I didn't realize the game had started. That's why. <laughs> I mean, of course I wouldn't give him odds otherwise. Threatening 95. I think Rook C1 and Bishop C4 looks right. Now, threatening 95 too. I think Bishop B6 might be the only move here. Hakopian, <laughs> yeah. Hakopian, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see what he does. Hmm. 
He's thinking for a long time, which means he's uncomfortable with the position, which is a good sign. Queen B8. I mean, I can play E4. No, Bishop C4 seems like the obvious move. If I play E4 and force him to trade is also a big question. No, I think I just castle and go E4. I can play Rook D1. I can also take... I think this is... This is the right move. This feels like the right move, at least. Because I can still put the Rooks on C1 and D1 where they belong. I also have Queen F5 maybe at some moment, too. I'll pre-move Knight F3. He's not going to take it, but it's a good pre-move anyway. Actually, if he takes on take, he might have some funky business. No, that doesn't look right. He plays rook d7, which feels like a mistake somehow. That feels like a big mistake. Wait a second. Wait a second. Think, Hikaru. Think. Feels like a big mistake. Wait. I know that's a mistake. Okay, um, let's just take. Wait, but e4, I take, yes. Okay, so this is actually fine. Because now he takes and I take, and I'm just better. His pawn is very weak on e5. If he plays rook d8, I trade and go e4, and I should be much better. If rook b5, I have b4 or a4 here. And I don't know, b4 must be right. Okay, so he goes there. I'll just go here, because a5, I always have queen a4. e4, I can always just trade. I also have knight g5, knight e4. I mean, this should be very good for me. It's just a matter of proving it. Um, I thought that was a mistake. Oh, shoot. He can just take f3. But I still should be better. Wait, I don't want to think too long. I'll have a minute here. If I don't take the pawn, it really doesn't make sense. Knight d2, rook h5, h3. Knight d2, knight g4, g3. Or knight d2, knight g4, knight f1, f5. I don't want to spend much more time. Um... <sighs> a five. A five, a five, a five. Where's my stupid win? I can't find it. I'm gonna go for this. I don't know if this is right. Rook h five. I thought was a mistake. So I can just play h three. But maybe I'm stupid. That's just a mistake. I think. I mean, he has some b fives, but I mean that doesn't do anything. Could have got knight f one too, but this this has to be good for me. Superman got not thing on me. And if knight g4, I go knight f1. Of course, I can even just take. Moshanik is Alexei Serrano. And he's also got no time, so I should just win this game. Uh, thank you to Crispy for the gift of sub. Okay, he does play b5, so I take. I take, and if he takes, I just take, and I take with the rook. I mean... Oh, rook h4. Whoa, that's actually maybe a great move. I wait, no, it's maybe not a good move. Let's go here. Take. Because rook on h4 is really crummy here. It's just dead. I think I'm going to go g4 and just trap the rook in the corner. I shouldn't have allowed that either. What am I doing here? I should just win this game instead of thinking so long. Here. Back and you lose. There we go. Rook 
58. He defended amazingly well after he got the losing position. Credit to him for that. Okay, we got the win. Six and a half out of seven. He defended that really, really well. I started to misplay that towards the end. But we got the win. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Ice is back with a brand new invention. Exactly. He played very well. I really did come close to messing that up in the, in the scramble. But it's a win. It's a win. At any rate, it's a win, and we keep moving along. Six and a half out of seven. Mechanic biggest problems. I mean, he's playing good chess. I mean, okay. But like six and a half out of seven is not. I mean, as I said, if, if you draw one game, it's fine. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. Um, the only thing that matters is the score at the end. Just I mean, it's just like the Atlanta Falcons. They thought the game was over after the third quarter in the Super Bowl. And um, the only thing that mattered was the final score. And they forgot how to play football. So again, it doesn't matter that I'm in second right now. Just got to um, just got to make sure that I'm, I'm winning uh, at the end. When time runs out, that I'm winning. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was so pathetic by the Falcons. Top eight, no, this is not Arena Kings, you guys. Arena Kings top eight is needed. This is not Arena Kings, though. Emotional damage. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, it's, it's tough. Chess is tough. Chess is very, very difficult. Who's going to win the Super Bowl this year? I am going to say that my beloved Tennessee Titans are going to win. I think Titans or uh, Titans or Chiefs, one of the two. I mean, Green Bay could win too, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I think Titans or Chiefs. I think one of the two. Packers, maybe. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Tom Brady, I don't feel it. I don't feel it. I mean, is he going to really win a second year in a row in Green Bay? Well, I mean, of course, Green Bay has to win win the next game but is he really gonna is he really gonna possibly win two years in a row in green bay in green bay i don't think so i don't think so yeah this is title tuesday you guys going with the titans bold strategy i don't know i mean someone someone who's got to win right and i think it's got it's got to be the titans i mean 49ers if, if jimmy g could actually just be like halfway decent for a whole game 49ers are pretty scary too um but somehow like that game against the cowboys like jimmy just had to throw that interception i mean he just had to throw that interception jimmy g stinks yeah i'm just saying i think he's i think he's pretty i think they're pretty scary i mean i do think the 49ers are very very scary uh no there should be a break after round eight not round seven i think it's zyberbot for the two thing of brenda denon for the five months thank you so much appreciate it all right here we go um, we still have games going apparently, so we're just waiting for round number eight. But yeah, we'll see. It's not my move right now. There's still two games going. Rogers will choke again, don't worry, who knows. Jimmy stinks, but he's good looking. <laughs> okay, man. Um, do I play Santo Blue? I don't actually know. I haven't looked at the standings closely. No, I think I play Mechanic. I think I either I play Mechanic or Oparum plays Mechanic. I don't know which one, but one of us does. A uh, title Tuesday has not had top eight for a very long time. Also, 49ers, that's right. Their their um their defense got injured, right? Bosa and the I forget the other guy got injured during that game. If they're not both at full if they're not both full health, then yeah, I think the 49ers D is kind of not really gonna keep it together. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I play Mechanic. I'm just gonna, I mean, I think I should go for it. I think I should play, oh, but he's probably gonna play E5 or is he gonna play Sicilian? Oh, let's play, uh, play E4. Okay, I like double clutch 20 times there. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna do one of my other inventions. Let's play this one. There's Castle. Plays e5, yeah. I mean, I know this is a line, but I still think this is supposed to be bad. There's queen. Oh, this is this knight. That's right. I forgot. There's a stupid knight f2 move that I forgot all about. Shoot. Hmm. Ah, shoot. Okay, this is not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, crud. <sighs> Just great. This is actually very scary. This is not clear cut at all. Uh, I was supposed to go queen c4 even. Here and take, I guess. 
This is very scary. Trick's only speed run. Yeah, if only I could berserk, I agree. Pretty scary though. I forgot I forgot about this pawn stack line, or I would not have gone into this. I completely forgot. Someone else did this against me, and I got away with it, but it's it's just very, very dangerous. I think computer says it's maybe okay for white, but yeah. Yeah. I think it was against um it was against that 2900 this is the Vidinov who did this. I, and I just forgot about the game. Uh, this is not wonderful. I mean it's still kind of maybe playable. I mean it's actually maybe not just not playable even. I do have rook f4 or queen f wait rook f4 bishop b2 wait I need to think for a second knight d2 bishop d4 yeah three takes takes I mean this is awful for me I guess I'll go here with e3 I have queen e2 if takes I just take I just have to stop this one check and go knight c3 knight c2 and, and hopefully I can somehow somehow survive this I'm, I'm not really convinced that I will but I'm gonna try it does go e3 which i think is actually a mistake i think e3 maybe is a rather serious mistake at that i don't really maybe serious is too strong of a word but he kind of actually stunts his whole uh he stunts his play i mean he can get the pawn to f4 but i can also blockade now so it's not not so sure that i love this by by serana it's still probably quite good objectively but i'm gonna i'm gonna at least get some play now so even if technically it's losing it's not losing on the spot what he does yeah I think this is a fairly severe mistake I think he actually missed Queenie too it's kind of weird but I think he did I just have to come up with the right moves here I have to think I have to use his time against him here he's actually moving very slowly who's there I mean and obviously sack sacking is actually quite interesting here um, but I think I should just develop first Tagging is really interesting. I kind of want to do it, but I, I don't trust it somehow. Wait, I don't trust it, but I do think it's a good idea. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I don't trust it, but I think it's actually okay. And I kind of just have to make up my mind and just go with something here. Should <sighs> see two is I think. Knight b5 is obviously a move. Hmm. I'm gonna go here. Really unsure. Okay, so he does play queen g3, which I expected, but I thought I had like rook f3. I mean, I obviously have knight f3, but I don't want to play it. I mean, again, I can actually sack. I mean, it's just so tricky. And I don't want to sack. Rook f3, queen e5, knight e 3 Oh, but I can play knight e 3 maybe? I'm going to do this. I'm going to sack now. I mean, can take and I take and I'm fine. Takes with a pawn. I'm gonna go knight d3 and rook f1 and try to play it like this. I don't know if this is actually great. But it's 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 like my only shot, I feel like. Otherwise, I think I'm just losing. And if he plays queen b2, I just take and go rook b1. If he takes with a queen, I take on okay, so he does that. So I go here. Gotta go queen g3, I play rook f1. This queen f6, that's a little bit weird. I come back. If I can get my knights to e2 and f4, I'm probably gonna win this game. Um, go here, target the pawn. I feel like he's misplaying this. I actually think he's kind of misplaying this a little bit. I'll go like, I'll go here and hit the pawn. Yeah, he's definitely misplaying this. He's in some trouble now. I might actually win this game, especially looking at the time usage. A pre move. I don't. I don't understand that. I mean, I guess I just take the rook and go rook f three. I could have taken with a bishop too. I know that I. Oh wait. Yes. Yes. Let's take. 
Yeah, I'm gonna win this game now. He just blundered badly. Yes, he blundered, yes. Very good. Now I go knife, knife f5 and he's just it's just game over. There we go. Okay, I go. Um, I can go here. Yes, we get the dub. We get the dub. And we move to seven and a half out of eight. Very, very important win. Knife f5 is too OP. Yeah, I don't know if my sack was right, but a win is a win, as the saying goes. And I think we're going to go to a break, final break of the tournament, and I will be back in one second. How do you learn about stocks and investing efficiently? Um, I mean, there was one... Actually, no, I thought the game had started. I mean, I, I actually really, even though it was about mutual funds and not about like stocks specifically, I really liked um, the two books that I liked was there was a Bogle book, Bogle on mutual funds. It's a pretty old book now, probably somewhat outdated, but you basically can take that and apply it to ETFs instead of like mutual funds. I'm going to play solid here. Um, and that's one of them. And then the, the other one is probably Siegel's book, Stocks for the Long Run. Again, using that within the context of understanding that you should probably still just buy an ETF. So, yeah. Can go 96. Okay. Oh, is he just gonna make a draw? I mean, maybe I shouldn't be playing flat, but I mean, I'm kind. Of, Dayak is a really good chess player. Okay, he's gonna play this one too. Now there are a couple moves against. I'm gonna play the way that I played against um against uh, Jan. I'm gonna go Bishop B4. Play this one. I think takes and rookie eight is what I played if I remember correctly. Actually, I'm just gonna go here and Bishop F5 because I want something double edge. I don't want something completely flat now. You to Enzo to share for the five thing, a Poros BM for the prime. Thank you so much. Is this Lubalescu? No, this is Dayak Bogdan. Um, very strong, very strong junior player from uh, from Romania. Maybe he's not a junior anymore, but pretty strong. Uh, how much does knowing finance translate to stream? Do you think someone aspiring to stream as a career should take some business classes? I don't think it actually is. I mean, I don't know if that's the right thing. I think if, if there's anything I would say, again, I don't have books off the top of my mind, but I'd probably say reading books on how to manage or budget your time is actually probably very useful if you want to if you want to have a streaming career. I don't know why he's singing so long either. It's kind of bizarre, but he is. Now I can go knight a5 here, knight a5 and f6. I kind of don't believe this is correct. I guess I'll just go here. I mean, I could have traded two and gone knight c4 and just made a draw, but I don't want to make a draw. Yeah, he goes c4. He's going to play c5, I assume. Kind of very, this is very actually weird. Um, think for a sec. I don't want to just blunder. I mean, that's fine. I feel like I've done something wrong, though, of course. In typical fashion. Let's go here. I guess I'll take and take. I take and I take, of course. I can take, then I go queen g6 or queen e6 and c6, maybe. I think I made a mistake, though. I think this was wrong. Oh, he takes with a rook. Taking with a pawn, I think, was better for white. I'll check it after the game, but I suspect that that was actually slightly wrong that he did this. Maybe I should have gone to G6. I don't know which square. I had two knight options. It's going to be a lot to look at after this game ends in terms of what I should have done or not done. Because my instincts tells me that I think knight G6 is playable. My instinct also tells me that I was wrong and he could have taken with the pawn and he would have had an advantage. Um, so I go here. Tar oh my god, I just wandered Bishop A3. Shoot. I just got careless talking too much for one one moment. And I blundered it. Ah, oh, shoot. Talking too much. Start talking about the previous position. Just blunder it. Oh, that's pathetic of me. Go here and take. <sighs> so pathetic. Yeah, now I'm going to lose the game because I was just talking too much. Night before C3 and I resign. There's nothing I can do there. Absolutely ridiculous. Now I also put the bishop on the wrong square. Ridiculous by me. Too busy talking like an idiot. I go here. 
attack the rook. So bad. I mean, it's really tragic because now I'm now I'm gonna lose this game most likely, barring some small sort of miracle. I don't even see a miracle here because my knight's not even on the right square. I could have maybe moved my knight there to f5. C1. That's probably a very good move too. I guess I go here. Yeah, of course he's got that, and now I'm just losing. And there's also th this is with increment, so I can't even flag him. So pathetically bad by me. I mean, it just doesn't even do anything. It's just lost. And if there's no increment, I might have a chance. But with increment there, I'm just completely busted. And unfortunately, it's a Berlin, so like I don't even have chances here. That's the best part about it. Here in trip. I mean, this doesn't do anything either. Hang a pawn for no reason. Yeah, I was just losing. It was very stupid of me. Yeah. The dangers of streaming, yeah, I mean, I'm just, yeah. Now let's go here. Yeah, of course he doesn't blunder. I can do. Maybe I'll get disconnected. That's the only chance I have. Ah, that's a nice tactic. I missed it. That's a nice tactic. Yeah. I mean, I was lost anyway, so there's nothing I could do. Maybe I'll get disconnected. Nah, I mean, probably not. Wait. Nah, it's just losing. Got careless, yeah. No, no, I mean, I just got careless. I, just, I was talking too much about the position. I'll still look at the position anyway, because I'm kind of curious. Um, got too careless. I'm just talking too much. The good news is I'm only half point down, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's just so stupid. Yeah, D takes E5 was winning. Or maybe not. Actually, Rook E5 is also good. Yeah, I go Knight C6, Rook E3. And of course, Queen F6 is the move, obviously. And then, then I'm maybe still worse, but it's playable. Yeah, it was so stupid to play Bishop F5. Just talking too much. Unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. And on the bright side, though, I'm still only half point out. So I still could win. Thank you to Lord Move for the Prime. Thank you to Shrouder for the Prime. So careless, though. Just so careless. Uh, no, he's a very strong GM. Um, no, it's not so much blaming chat. I'm mad at myself because I just shouldn't have been talking. I wasn't I wasn't even talking to chat. That's the thing. I was literally just talking about the position for no good reason. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so they'll probably draw. So if I can win two games, I can still get there. But yeah. No, subs didn't distract me. Thank you, GZ Adam. I distracted myself by talk because I got too interested and I was talking, explaining the position too much. Um, but yeah. Very, very poor by me. That's what you do all the time. It's just one in 100. Yeah, that's probably true, actually. Pro you're right. It's probably one in, one in 100. Nah, maybe more than one in 100. More like five in 100. But still, I just shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that's not chat's fault. That, that was not chat's fault. Like, if there had been a question, I could blame chat. There was no question there. I just was, I was just careless. Ugh. On the bright side, as I said, though, at least if I play well, I still have a chance. I still could win this. But the thing is, they've already played two, so I, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Two wins, and I'll still get there, though. Two wins, and I still can get there. Yeah. It's always Chad's fault? Not exactly. But very poor. Very, very poor. Let's see what, what's going on. Um, Amin versus Howell. Okay, this should be a drop. Levy is to blame. <laughs> Not five out of 100, more like one in 20. That's 5% either way. Um... Okay, this will be a draw. G8, of course. Yeah. Uh, who's he talking to? Yeah, I was talking to myself. Very, very poor. Very, very poor. All right. Mm. Still have a chance. I just have to win the last two. I do have good tie breaks, I guess, at least. I do I do have good tie breaks. If I win two, I still probably can get there. 
thing is, these guys already played, so, so nobody's got good tie breaks. Um, I played both of them. So yeah, my tie breaks are actually very, very good here. Tie breaks are very good, so I, I can still win this. Thank you to Casanova for the prime, but again, the good thing is it's... Ugh, I get a double black and I get... I get a black again and I get Savitinov, really? Duck. This is fairly annoying. Um, I mean, I... I guess I have to go for broke. I don't. I should have maybe played a Dutch. I'll play a King's Indian. A draw is no good here, so I have to just wing it and play. You get Grant Owen for the ten months. Um, that's right. He plays this. Um, let's go here. Let's play my old love. This uh, Bishop G4, King's Indian. Play C5. Go back. I can play A6, B5. I've played this since I was ten years old, so it's got to be somewhat decent. Let's go here and rookie eight. Eight, of course. Now, this order, I think e5 is still correct. Um, now, do I take with the bishop or the pawn? Both captures are fine. Both captures are completely fine here. But which one do I want to do? I want the one that's more imbalanced, probably. And this is the one that's more imbalanced. So I should probably just do it. I'm playing basically to complicate everything here. Takes. Okay, take. Yeah, I think I think we've had this before, oddly enough. Okay, now I can play 94. Wait, I think 90 is 98 the right move? I don't even remember this. Okay. I have to win this, so how to keep the game alive and not just blunder and lose is the big question. Bishop C6 looks like a pretty decent concept. But then B4, and I'm, I'm just a little bit worse. Or am I? No, I think bishop c6 is playable, but is it actually good? Um, hmm. Let me think for a second. I think it's probably the safest approach. I'm going to do it. I hope I'm not just blundering a tactic. But I very easily could be blundering some kind of tactic here. I guess it's a safe pre move, so I pre move takes. Oh, no talking. Yeah, I just shouldn't talk. That's a good point. Yeah. Oh, he plays rook d1. Interesting choice. Okay, I still should keep the position complicated, so let's go here and trade. B4, I just take... Okay, A3, I saw that, but I thought I could go B4, maybe. B4, Knight, C4 could be annoying. I should have something here. Feel it in my bones. B4, Knight, C4 could be annoying. Again, a little bit too slow on the clock here, which is a big problem. Here, I'm actually, I think, going to take the pawn on A3. Where do I go, Knight, B... Knight, B7's bad. I'm going to take... Ah, uh, did I just blunder Rook, D5? Uh, whatever, don't talk. I did blunder, of course, because that's what I do. I just threw this game. Why did I do that? That was so bad. Wait. Gotta move quicker, though. I have no time. I gotta go. I gotta gotta find a move here. Um shoot.
now. I'm probably gonna lose this game. I mean, I have some sack, maybe. That's what I'm banking on, is that there's some trick here. I don't know if it works. Actually, he can't move the queen, because now I lose... Wait. Wait a second. Who's getting mated here? Someone's getting mated. I just don't know if it's me or it's him. Like 96 or something? Uh, I found this, which is another fantastic move. Um... Yeah, and it's just, I mean, I can't, I can't win this. It's just a draw. A draw at best. Oh, and I don't even work B7. What the heck? I've just got no moves here. I mean, I can't, I can't do anything. I threw this pretty hard. This is disappointing. All right, now I allowed this too, of course. Yeah, I let the king out. And I was just too slow. Too slow in this game. No chance. Probably too hard to win. I guess I, I guess I could have just made a draw, but uh, draw wasn't gonna win me the tournament, unfortunately. Yeah, now I just blunder. I put the rook on the wrong square, finally. Where's my bishop there? Oh, I got that. I mean, yeah, not meant to be. Yeah, I mean, I, I tried, but like, I, I had no chance because I, I had too little time. I think there was a draw for one moment. Was it, I felt like one moment he got careless, and maybe I could have drawn. But no, I mean, it's not so much about the game. It's the previous one that messed it up. So if I don't lose the previous one, then I can be solid and, and everything's different. But because I lost the previous one, I had to go for broke. I mean, I just had to, and I didn't get. And I also played the wrong opening for it, too, because, like, the best I could do was maybe take a slightly worse position. Like, and I can take a slightly worse position, but that's still, it draws no good. Yeah, that wasn't Chad's fault. No, that was my fault that I was talking too much in the previous one. Just ruined it. Unfortunately, that's, yeah, I was doing so well, and I just ruined the whole turn. I ruined my rating. Typical of, like, the World Championship when I started these early streams, and I couldn't play well. Yeah. I played the wrong no the opening against uh the opening against um against Dayak was fine, but this opening was just I mean in a must one was not right. I should have played something different. How come I always end up blundering? I don't actually blunder all the time. 
but these early streams definitely play a role because during um during the world championship i think i lost like 100 points on average during during the event so i mean probably i just shouldn't play if i'm streaming early but still it's content yeah that's yeah, frustrating i'll play the last one anyway but always i don't always blunder i very rarely blunder but yeah when I, these these recent ones when i've been playing the early when i've been streaming early i have found a way to blunder and i was running out of steam or what it is but yeah, it hasn't been there it's frustrating uh no he was not cheating no no he was not cheating um no he had too much time that was the problem he, he just had too much time i just i couldn't do anything um okay we have another one of these rook and bishop versus rooks but yeah uh do i drink coffee generally i do uh, have i played cheaters yeah actually title two is like two weeks ago i did play against a cheater so it does happen but this guy's not a cheater um no nobody that i played today i i mean no one was cheating today that's for sure frustrating but it happens <laughs> always blunders eh yeah <laughs> good one yeah no i mean i probably just shouldn't play title two zero arena kings when i've been um when I've been streaming for a long time but easier said than done I mean calling accuracy well I mean it was just a bad opening I could I could have I could have equalized that game but um I could have equalized that game but it just it, I needed to win I needed to win yeah yeah eh, it happens all right this game finally is a draw so we can move on to the last game get this over with um get one more to go just chill man just chill next time no but I mean I did this during the world championship too where I played very poorly and um I played very poorly in title twos and arena kings during that so it's uh I mean it's, I probably just shouldn't play these tournaments when it's at the end, back end of a long stream he's not an NM by the way he just hasn't gotten the title he's a GM okay let's just move quickly Deco here knight c3 here c5 actually I think I had I played this guy recently I feel like I had this opening against someone um uh he can't take the rooks to stalemate there that's the rook and bishop split um just frustrating to throw because now I just ruined what could have been a great YouTube video um let's just castle and take I guess and take oh well hmm he takes I take playing too fast no I'm not playing too fast um uh I just that last game I got the wrong opening the previous one was completely fine I just was talking too much and then I just I wasn't paying attention on a critical move and I blundered and unfortunately because it was the Berlin where it's such a symmetrical very flat position uh it just I just lose on the spot I also feel like I might just lose this game somehow but maybe not what ah he found an interesting move okay, I take I guess let's go Go here, hit the pawn. Position looks completely fine for me. I should be better. Yeah, I ruined my rating. I dropped like 20 points. Very frustrating. Bitcoin is greater than 750. No, no, of course winning that tournament. That winning that tournament was like very big. Um, obviously, but just frustrating I guess I'll go here in knight d6 just put the knight in the center of the board maybe bishop d2 it was very frustrating very frustrating the way that I lost that previous one to Dak. that really did just ruin the whole event uh, I can go knight b6 I'll just put the knight here maybe move the queen you can obviously take oh I think I just blundered now now I did make a mistake Why are blitz ratings so much higher than classical? Uh, blitz ratings are higher than classical because uh, the people there. There's a much larger prize pool. Sorry, but but don't but get over it. All right, get banned, dude. I mean, I don't care if you if you give subs. Get banned. The knight c3. Like seriously. Um, I'm gonna play queen b3, maybe a3 next move. Also, king b1 is maybe a safe move. Um. I think I'm just gonna go yeah it's getting a little bit iffy there's maybe knight d3 now a little bit iffy can always play rook d2 maybe yeah I'm finding a way to misplay this which is somewhat unsurprising um 
Pistol should be something. Maybe I go... I'm gonna go here, Knight B6, maybe. <laughs> Title Tuesday, don't get your toes stepped on, yeah. No, there's just no need for it, really. There's just no need to be... No need to do that. Um, and I don't really care. I mean, the guy the guy thinks he's gifted sub, so he can just be like that. Like, I mean, just, dude, stop it. Um, now, I can play King C1, which probably is bad. I can also take... Um, I think I'm gonna go King C1 here. Yeah. Okay, Bishop C2, I have Queen E6. I'm just gonna try to move fast and cheese him on the clock, basically. I have A3 here. Bishop D4 looks... Not great. Bishop D2 looks not great. Um... I'm gonna have to go a3 and just take and hopefully this isn't just losing the game somehow because this very much could be of course very likely it is just is here I'm gonna say 95 or something I mean, he's got no time, so that's one thing in my favor. Is F3 to go FG2, I guess? Okay, I mean... Wow, F3 is maybe a great move. Wow, F3 is maybe a fantastic move. That's insane. Or is it? Wait, no, it's not. Because I have Bishop E3. No, it's actually not that... You're in trade? It's still obviously terrible for me, but maybe there are chances. Uh, he's got this one too. Nice. Uh, this is actually just probably. Well, I have counterplay maybe. There's maybe counterplay of 95, hit the pawn. Rook F6, there's 97. There is some counterplay here maybe. Feels like there's counterplay. Oh, and I could have taken. Wait, why didn't I just take A5 there actually? Ooh, very poor. Okay, let's take and i can trade or i can also take i think i'm just going to trade and bring my king up i'm not actually sure this is so great for great for black i mean this pawn is very fast i have rook b7 I, i'm gonna win this game um rook b7 i think is winning i can play c oh c7 takes queen rook c7 is no good Let's take. Let's go here. I'm going to go C7 again. No pushes. It's all guard. Game over. Let's go C7. I should box somehow. Let's go here. Go here. Maybe 7 I guess. Yeah, this is just winning. Now I take. Bring the bishop back. And I mean, I have too many pawns. I could have also gone C4, C5, C6. I take this way. I guess I'll just go here. Just wait. Now I'm just going to run this pawn up the board. So many pawns, we get the win. Basically, he he waits, and then eventually I go check. King supports, king has to move, and then I queen, and that's game over. Not a good game, but a win is a win at any rate. Good way to finish it rather than taking the L and going below 32. So it's still still kind of okay. It's not not wonderful. I think Mason returns for the gifted sub. Thank you to Mason returns. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's what it is. It's what it is. Not not a good result for sure. And at nine out of eleven was winning, really. So I actually really butchered it. I could have actually taken another draw and it would have been fine. Wow, nine out of eleven was winning. Hmm. Wow, nine out of eleven. I did not think nine out of eleven was gonna win. There's just like a massive tie. Okay, yeah, that was a big mistake then. But it happens. Weak fill today? No, Jeffrey's very strong. It was actually relatively strong. I mean, I just I tried to, I've made the one move blunder against Dayak, who, by the way, Dayak is still playing. Yeah, it's going to be like a massive uh, fest at nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like, yeah, what a mess. Um, yeah, the number of people on nine out of 11 is pretty high. Um, uh, but that's life. That's how it goes. That's just life. Anywho, it is what it is, the saying goes. Um, Nah, it is what it is. 
yeah do i think knockouts were better knockouts were obviously much better for me to because top eight is much easier than getting first and i feel like in a match format i'm, I'm gonna do very well in general even against the act like in one-offs i mean anything can happen but i do feel pretty confident in a match against the act I, I would beat him um uh, but in like in, in like one-offs yeah i mean it's i mean that's why i win arena kings actually i mean the reason i win arena kings so often is because in the match format i just don't lose 